Hello everyone. I welcome you on board flight of Captain Vijay in series of flights to study meteorology for DGCA CPL and ATPL examination. Today we will fly through the fourth topic which is density and humidity. So fasten your seat belts as we are ready for take off. Density and humidity being a smaller topic, we have combined them together in one video lesson. Remember information and data covered in this video under red outline is to be remembered for the purpose of examination. What is density? Density is measure of mass per unit volume. You know it well that a iron is denser than cotton since the same size of iron metal will be much heavier as compared to the same size of cotton. Density of atmosphere is 1.225 kg per meter cube at sea level and air density reduces as we move upwards in the atmosphere. Relative density. When we compare the density of air with some datum, it is called relative density. For example, relative density of air at 20,000 feet is half or 50% of the density at sea level. Pressure versus density. Density is directly proportional to pressure. Higher the pressure, higher the density of air. Lower the pressure, lower the density of air. Temperature versus density. Warm or hot air expands and hence mass per unit volume reduces. Hence density reduces with increase in temperature and density increases with reduction in temperature. Or you can say that colder air is denser as compared to warmer air. Humidity versus density. Water vapor is lighter than air. Water molecules are lighter than oxygen or nitrogen. So when water vapor is added to air, the mass of air mixed with water vapor will have lesser mass per unit volume. So density is inversely proportional to humidity. Or you can say that humid air is lighter than dry air. Density altitude. In an ideal atmosphere, every height of the atmosphere has a specific density and this reduces as we go upwards. So if air density is given, then in ideal atmosphere, at whatever height that density exists is called density altitude. Changes in pressure, temperature and humidity, all of them will affect the density altitude. Higher the pressure, higher the density and higher density means lower density altitude. Higher the temperature, lower the density and lower density means higher density altitude. Higher the humidity, lighter the air, so lower is the density and lower density means higher density altitude. Altitude versus density. As we know that as we go upwards in the atmosphere, pressure reduces. So the density should reduce. But at the same time, we also discussed that as we go upwards, the temperature reduces. And because of reduction in temperature, the density should increase. Both reduction in pressure and reduction in temperature has opposite effect on density. But the effect of pressure reduction is higher and the final result is that the density of air reduces with increase in altitude. The density at sea level is 1.225 kg per meter cube. At 20,000 feet, the density is half of that at sea level and at 40,000 feet, the density is one fourth of that at sea level. Remember, density changes by 1% for every 3 degree change in temperature or 10 hectopascal change in pressure. Density versus latitude. At sea level, equator is warm, poles are colder, so the density would be lower at equator as compared to poles. Density at Earth's surface will keep increasing as you move from equator towards the poles. However, gradually this relationship reverses at 8 km or 26,000 feet and above this height, air is denser over equator as compared to poles. Diurnal variation of density. Maximum density of air is half an hour after sunrise when the temperature is minimum and minimum density is at 1500 hours of local time when the temperature is maximum. 
you all by now would be knowing well that aircraft and engine performance will deteriorate with reduction in density lift produce will reduce engine will produce lesser thrust longer take off runs will be required and the max take off weight will reduce if the density reduces now we'll move on to the second topic of this video lesson which is humidity what is humidity humidity is presence of water vapor or moisture in air the percentage of water vapor in air varies based on temperature the percent of water vapor in cold arctic or antarctic area may be as low as 0.2% while in the warm tropical air the water vapor may be 4% water vapor is one of the most important greenhouse gas other than carbon dioxide and methane which helps to maintain the temperature of planet earth and without water vapor you will never see any clouding rain and fog etc you can imagine that life itself cannot sustain without water vapor being in the atmosphere where does this water vapor comes from it is added to the atmosphere through evaporation of liquid water into gaseous state and majority of it comes from evap evaporation from sea surface effect of humidity effect of humidity we experience in day to day life we feel hot and sweaty when it is more humid and we'll f when and we feel dry when it is very less humid when we do any work or exercise our body temperature rises and we sweat the sweat over our skin gets evaporated evaporation results in cooling effect and our body temperature remains under control but when it is already very humid and air is saturated with water vapor and it cannot take in any more moisture in it evaporation of sweat on our skin will stop and the cooling of body due to evaporation will stop and this gives rise to the uncomfortable uncomfortable feeling of hot and humid evaporation of 1 gram of water will take away 540 calorie of heat from our body saturation air can hold a certain amount of water vapor at a given temperature at higher temperature it can hold more water vapor and at lower temperature it will hold lesser water vapor when at a given temperature no more water vapor can be added to air it is called saturated air and in this case the relative humidity is 100% we can achieve saturation by either adding more water vapor into the air or by cooling the air condensation if air is already saturated and you cool it further the excess water vapor which it cannot hold will condense into liquid water condensation is the cause of fog dew and clouds condensation of 1 gram of water vapor into liquid water will release 540 calorie of latent heat into the atmosphere freezing conversion of water droplets into ice at or below 0 degree centigrade is called freezing melting change of state from solid to liquid or ice to water is called melting deposition when water vapor changes directly to ice without first going to liquid state is called deposition sublimation when ice directly changes to water vapor without going through the state of liquid is called sublimation the example is dry ice measuring humidity humidity is measured either by finding out the absolute humidity or relative humidity what is absolute humidity amount of water vapor present in unit volume of air is called absolute humidity it is measured in gram per meter cube and temperature is not considered when calculating absolute humidity relative humidity relative humidity is a ratio it is a ratio of amount of water vapor present in unit volume of air divided by maximum amount of water vapor which the air can hold at that temperature it gives us a practical idea of humidity level at 100% relative humidity air is saturated and cannot take in any more water vapor below 100% humidity the air can be called unsaturated or dry measurement of relative humidity relative humidity is measured by instrument called hygrometer or psychrometer 
Instrument uses a dry bulb and a wet bulb thermometer. Dry bulb thermometer measures the normal air temperature and wet bulb thermometer measures the wet bulb temperature which will be of course lower than the dry bulb temperature due to evaporation and the cooling effect because of evaporation. At 100% relative humidity both the temperature will be same since there will be no evaporation and no cooling of wet bulb will take place. At other relative humidity values there will be a difference. More the difference between wet bulb and dry bulb more dry the air is and lesser is the relative humidity. Dew point temperature Dew point temperature is the temperature to which the air must be cooled at constant pressure for saturation to take place or the relative humidity to reach 100%. At or below this temperature water vapor will condense into liquid or you can say excess water vapor will condense into liquid. Remember dew point temperature and the wet bulb temperature are not the same thing. But practically when relative humidity is 100% the normal air temperature which is measured by the dry bulb, wet bulb temperature and the dew point temperature all three will be same. And whenever the air is not saturated relative humidity is less than 100% then the air temperature will be more than the wet bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature will be more than dew point. Diurnal variation of humidity Air can contain more water or moisture at high temperature. So maximum relative humidity will occur when the temperature is minimum which is half an hour after sunrise. So minimum relative humidity will occur when temperature is at maximum which occurs at 1500 hours local time. So hope this video has helped you in understanding the subject density and humidity in meteorology. With this we have arrived at our destination. Hope to see you soon on board for the next flight. Like, share, subscribe and comment if you wish. Happy landings.